Hey guys, did you know that this is the Elizabeth Tower? It's also nicknamed the Big Bet. I'll tell you all about it. Welcome to Ryan's World. Thanks, Ryan. I'll take it over from here. Hey, Combo Crew. Today, I'm visiting one of the most iconic historical landmarks in London, England. Big Ben! Big Ben is a huge clock tower. In fact, it's the largest four-sided chiming clock in the world. Well, you're almost right, Combo. <laughs> Alpha Alexa, what are you doing here? This is my video. Oh, Combo, as the resident Anglophile, that means I love learning about Great Britain. I'm here to teach you about Big Ben. Trust me, you'll need my help. Hmm, well, all right. You lead the tour, and I'll take the pictures. While people use the name Big Ben to refer to the whole tower, it's actually the name of the largest bell inside the tower, also known as the Great Bell. What? Really? Then what's the name of the tower? The tower is actually called Queen Elizabeth Tower, named after the Queen of the United Kingdom. Ooh, fancy. Elizabeth Tower is connected to the Palace of Westminster, where the lawmakers of Great Britain get together and make decisions. Oh, oh, I have a question, Alpha. Yes, Combo? Why did they build the tower? Good question, Combo. In 1834, a fire destroyed the old palace of Westminster. Oh, no! The clock tower was designed as part of the new palace of Westminster. Phew! Elizabeth Tower was completed May 31st, 1859. That seems like forever ago. It sure is a cool tower. I wonder what it's made of. Elizabeth Tower is made of brick and limestone. Its roof tiles are made of cast iron. That sounds heavy. It's not going to tip over, is it? It looks like it's leaning a little bit to me. Funny you should ask, Combo. The ground underneath the tower is made of gravel and clay. Because of the soft ground, the clock tower leans up to the northeast. <laughs> but don't worry, the tower is sturdy. There's no chance of it tipping over. The tower is 316 feet tall. That's as tall as 21 London buses stacked on top of each other. The bells are hung near the top of the tower in an area called the Belfry. What's that light at the top for? the Ayrton Light. It's a lantern that shines whenever British lawmakers are meeting in the Palace of Westminster after dark. The light can be seen from across London. There are clock faces on all four sides of the tower. Each one is made up of 312 pieces of white glass fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. This way, workers can fix the clock cans from inside the clock tower without having to remove all the glass. <sighs> the numbers on the clock are displayed using Roman numerals. They look tiny from the ground, but they're actually two feet tall. Meek! The hour hands on the clock are nine feet long and the minute hands are 14 feet long. The faces of the clock light up at night. Whoa! The Big Ben Bell weighs 13 and a half tons. It's over seven feet tall and nine feet wide. That's a big bell, all right. But why do they call it Big Ben? Ouch. Another great question, Combo. Some people think it was named after a boxer named Benjamin Kant. He was an English heavyweight champion whose nickname was also Big Ben. A 
other people think the bell was named after Sir Benjamin Hall, whose name was written on the bell when it was first made. Oh no! There's a crack in the bell! How are they going to ring it? Don't worry, Combo. Big Ben cracked shortly after it was hung up, but it still works. The crack gives a unique twangy sound. Not so fast, Combo. Big Ben rings at the beginning of every hour. The smaller bells around it chime every 15 minutes to mark each quarter hour. Whoops! If you visit on New Year's Eve, you can watch the clock count down to midnight. Huge crowds of people gather outside the tower to celebrate the countdown with music, fireworks, and lots of cheering as the bells ring in the new year. Come on, Bunga! Happy New Year, everybody! I had a great time visiting Big Ben today. I wish I could have stayed longer. It's okay, Combo. You can see other towers inspired by Big Ben in Paris, France, Ottawa, Canada, Birmingham, England, Cardiff, Wales, and Port of Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago. Plus, there's a lot to see and do when you're in London. You can visit countless museums and historical buildings like Buckingham Palace or Westminster Abbey. You can even take a ride on the London Eye, which is a giant Ferris wheel on the banks of the River Thames. Wow! I love Ferris wheels! Let's see that next! <laughs> Back to you, Ryan! Thank you for learning about Elizabeth Tower with me! Bye! Remember, always stay happy and rise up! Bye!